LAFD coming through. Sir, can you tell us what happened? Can you speak? These two construction guys, they, they cut him off. He ran right into a metal pole and caught him in the neck, I think. Or the throat. Possible impact with the windpipe. There could be tracheal, maybe esophageal damage. Windpipe's constricted, but otherwise clear. We'll put him on the O2. People, their response is normal, nothing neurological. Let's put him in a brace in case he hit his head on his way down. Do you know his name? Yeah, his name's Justin. Ju Justin McAvoy, I think. Uh, he works over at Metro Tech. I don't know if this matters, but he may have a nut allergy. He orders the same thing every day except no almonds. I, I think he wants to talk. What's he trying to say? No man is an island, but two men together can share the world. Uh, hi, I'm Justin. God, this is so stupid. Uh, I don't know if you noticed me these last few months. I work in an office getting lunches and making coffee, so I never do feel very seen. But I have seen you, how kind you are to people, I how you smile. I think we're caught in the middle of somewhere, sir, nothing. I don't always have the courage to speak, but some days I'm more afraid not to. So I've written it down to say it clearly and for myself. Well, for himself, because I would never, ever do this, but, but he would. He's way nicer than I am, very single, totally dateable. That's not in the, in the note, I'm just improvising. Uh, so, if the image of a nervous intern reading poetry on the back of a lunch menu doesn't turn you off, I only have one question. What are you trying to say? What do you say? Would you like to ride in the back of the ambulance with him? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you